Hi friends, it's Nathan, a second year pharmacy student studying at the University of Waterloo, but currently doing a placement in the surgery department of a hospital. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to my channel. So we've got another study vlog for you today. Last week, I mentioned that I had a final presentation for my placement. I'll be giving it to the nurses, doctors, and pharmacists that I work with, and that's in two weeks, and I haven't started. So we got a lot of work to do today. We're gonna start by eating breakfast, and then we're gonna go to a college campus, very close to where I live. It is not my school. We're gonna pretend to be a student and I'm gonna get into a building, find a good study spot and just be productive. So if you need motivation, then keep on watching. I have really been loving this breakfast. It is sriracha garlic mayo with cucumbers and smoked salmon. So I found myself a little study spot and you guys know that I love windows and there's a giant window right beside me. Um, really, really homey. I think just being on a campus, I, just so comforting to me. Anyways, we are going to get started with the day. I'm going to make my to-do list, so cue time lapse. So for the past few weeks, I've had a running idea of what I wanted my presentation to be about, but it's not until now in this moment that I've really been able to compact it and solidify what my overarching topic is going to be. So it's going to be focused on the post-pandemic treatment and management of COVID-19. Now, COVID-19 is not going to become like a deathly virus anymore. It's really just going to become similar to the flu, to the cold. So learning how to identify and differentiate between the three and then treating it using self-care products, using Using maybe natural health products, uh, non-pharmacologic strategies, and yeah, that's going to be my presentation. I'm really excited to give it, and I even spoke to my supervisor and to some of the colleagues. They're also really excited. They were like, oh, like no one has ever done this topic, so it's going to be really new and interesting, and I think so too. I don't think any other student's going to do any topic related to COVID after me, just because the like, pandemic is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start with brainstorming and just kind of getting a format down and then we'll really get into the works of it. So this is what my screen is looking like. On the one side, I have my research. Um, yes, I know there's a lot of tabs going on, but that's part of the process. And then on the other side, I have my notes and I'm taking like clips and um, charts that I'm gonna paste into my presentation when I make it. But yeah, that's my kind of process. Hi friends, I hope you're enjoying the study vlog. I wanted to pop it and tell you that for this video, I've partnered with Yours app, a self-care and mindfulness app that I've been absolutely loving. We all know that I live my life at 100 miles per hour, always studying, always working, and that's why this app has been so good for my mental and physical health. You've seen through my study vlogs that I always meditate in the morning, and the Yours app has over 150 different meditations for all different types of people and needs. And throughout the day, I'll be using their breathing clock to relax and focus my mind and body, and after studying two hours nonstop, something like this is beyond therapeutic. Another neat thing about yours is that they provide guidance from psychologists on a range of different topics. Mental health, depression, anxiety, 
relationships, all those important things that we may not be comfortable speaking with someone, they're experts so you can actually trust their advice. They also have yoga for all difficulty levels and although I don't do yoga myself, I may give it a try just because they have beginner classes and it makes it really easy for me to learn those foundational techniques. They have an ever-expanding music library which includes lo-fi, piano, ASMR, nature, and so much more. And something that I've started doing recently is playing their sleep stories as I do my nighttime routine. So as I'm brushing my teeth, as I'm doing my skincare, I'll be listening to the soothing voice of a narrator. And that just allows me to relax and steady my mind so that when my head does hit the pillow, I can actually go to sleep and not have to think about that one question I got wrong on a test and give my body the rest it deserves. As you can see, yours really is an all-in-one app and it uses AI technology to personalize your experience. The app is free, so it comes with free content, but if you're looking for more premium content, you have the choice to upgrade. I've been loving it and I know you will too. Check out yours app by using this link or use the code Nathan for 60% off your yearly order. Thank you, yours app, and let's continue on with the site vlog. So I'm just reheating my lunch in the microwave and waiting for it. But I think progress is going well. I would say maybe like 25% done. That's just my Word document. Like that's scripting, that's research. But I don't think that transferring everything from a Word document to my PowerPoint will take long. It's just a matter of making it pretty and making the design and everything. But that's like an enjoyable thing I can do at the end. So for lunch, I have um, masala chicken pasta with cucumber, and I'll be watching Legacies. So it's time to get back to work, and I finished doing all the background information, covering the overview, going through clinical manifestations, symptoms, differentiation between COVID, the cold and the flu and all that kind of stuff. So now it's time to really dive into the bulk of the presentation and that's going through products and uh, looking at the evidence behind certain natural health products and seeing their mechanism of action and seeing if there's any correlation to a clinical benefit. So for that, I will be hitting up the databases, looking through journal articles, uh, just doing a lot, a lot of literature review. So let's get to it. stressed and overwhelmed so I'm eating a banana oh my butt hurts so many tabs and I wish I could close them but I can't because I'm not finished yet so we gotta keep working forgot how long research takes, not even just the, how long presentation making takes, it's just the research, gathering the data, going through it, sifting through it, um, and then kind of formatting it. It's like, that is what it takes the longest. So I would say like 50% done the research, which is fine. Like it's not bad progress at all. I probably will continue my research tomorrow. If I'm looking at a timeline, if I did 50% today, I would do 50% tomorrow, and then the weekdays, today's a Saturday, so once the weekend's over and my research is done, the weekdays I will start by adding the information into PowerPoint and really making it nice and aesthetic, and then um, the following week I will prepare for it, practice it, really go through and make sure that I'm speaking eloquently and my script is all good, and then it should be good for presentation, so yeah. I think I'm gonna go now. It's really cold and I'm kinda hungry, so let's go grab some food. I'm literally the only person left here. Everyone's gone, I'm the last one here. So I'm walking to grab some food now and it's so cold. I'm actually like shivering and that's why the camera is moving so violently. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get a Mediterranean wrap, uh, but I'm not gonna eat it there. I'm just gonna bring it home so I can eat it in the comfort of my apartment. Okay, I'm gonna put my hands in my pocket and brace this 10 minute walk. It's 
it's not as cold anymore, but I am so excited to go home, eat my Mediterranean shawarma wrap, and then take a nice hot shower and just like relax. Like this past week has been so stressful and my sleep schedule has been way off. And you guys know me, I like to sleep early, but it's really hard. I'm trying to sleep at 10, which is like good. Um, and everyone else would be like, wow, Nathan, you're a grandpa, you sleep so early. But when you wake up at 4.30 every single day, sleeping at 10 is not enough. So it's just kind of been adding up. And when you're sleeping six hours every single day, it really kind of, it takes a toll on you. So hopefully these last two weeks, I can really get my sleep schedule in check and just finish strong because I'm going to need it. I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to be doing my final presentation. So a lot, a lot is happening this month, but it's also going to be a really exciting month. So I can't complain about that as well. I'm finally home and I'm so excited to eat. So let's do a first bite on camera. Mm. It's just so hot because I um put it in the oven to reheat, but it's good. Mm. So good. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my Legacies episode. And that should be nearing the end of my night. Also, I think it's really impressive the fact that one 40-minute episode can stretch me the whole day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, guys, I'm telling you, like, I've never had an issue with pausing a show midway. Like, I never get hooked on the, you know, next one playing five, two, three, two. Like, that doesn't phase me. So, yep. Some people are built up front. finally in bed and I feel so comfortable. The chair that I've been sitting in for eight hours today, it was so hard and it kind of like sloped down. So my spine was in a weird position the whole time. And I always say that I like to be a little bit uncomfortable when I study, but today it was nearing towards pain and there's a difference between being uncomfortable and in pain. So I need to book an appointment with my chiropractor ASAP. Before the video ends, I just wanted to remind you to check out yours by using the link here, or you can use code Nathan for 60% off the yearly plan. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. I will be back in school in May, so be ready for that. A lot more college vlogs, college content, all that stuff you've been missing. And I'm so excited to be filming that again. And if you wanna see more of my day-to-day -day life as a student, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I've also been posting a lot of student reels, funny and relatable ones. You guys have been loving it and blowing every single one. So thank you so much. And for more laughs, you can check out my TikTok at It's Nathan Wu. But that's it for me and I'll see you friends in the next video. Bye.